bioinformatics. Hi again. So I'm back and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea about who I am since there's many people in this class that haven't met me yet and I haven't met you guys and hopefully with this remote learning we'll be able to kind of remedy that uh, the best we can. So um, again, for those that don't know me, I'm an assistant professor here in the biology department. Uh, my specialty is in evolution, bioinformatics, uh, and genomics. Um, my name is Clayton Fisker. Uh, you can also uh, follow kind of some of the stuff I, I'm interested in in science on my Twitter at uh, Hoity Ploidy. Um, I study polyploidy, so that's kind of where that comes from. So um, like many of you, I'm actually a local Sacramento. I moved here uh, very, very young and spent my entire childhood here. Um, like many people here, I grew up um, as a huge Kings fan uh, from the very best of times um, to kind of a, you know, some disappointing times in the middle and you know things are kind of getting to be exciting again. So um, I was bummed to see this season end abruptly. I also got a lot of my early education around here. I went to uh, both C.K. McClatchy High School as well as John F. Kennedy High School. Um, wasn't really the greatest student, uh, hence uh, having to go to two different high schools. And after kind of really doing terribly in high school, I did kind of what a lot of people do. I went, well, I guess I'll just keep going to school for some reason. Um, and I went to uh, Sacramento City College, uh, which is a fantastic thing to do if you're academically motivated, which I was not. Um, that very first semester, I ended up failing every single class I took. Uh, I even failed intro to golf. So I thought to myself, maybe school is not for me, and uh, did something totally different and ended up joining the military. Um, I took a four-year break from school where I uh, kind of flew around the world, grew up a little bit, um, and actually learned the value of an education. Um, and so kind of two years into my enlistment, I enrolled in Solano Community College classes online, so I took online courses as a student as well through California system, um, and started trying to get my degree. When I ended up exiting the military after four years, I came back to Sacramento, I love Sacramento, um, and wanted to be a student here at Sac State. And so, like many of you, I was a student at Sac State. Um, I originally wanted to be a pharmacist, though. Um, I was a biology student uh, and I started to get some research experience because everybody knows if you want to go to professional school you need to get research experience. The problem is I fell in love with research. Um, my very first research experience was um, with Dr. Shannon Dottweiler who's um, now the assistant uh, associate dean of our natural science and mathematics um, and I started learning about genome duplications in plants and it was just the weirdest thing to me. Um, and was so fascinating and I just kind of really fell in love with this process of science. Um, and so I absolutely just abandoned the whole concept of going to professional school and wanted to eventually get my PhD and uh, become an academic. Um, finished up my time here at Sac State. Um, you are all graduate students so you've already graduated but um, you can always get free copies as long as you're willing to deal with text um, of your graduation photos which is what I have done. So where I went after Sac State um, was really just kind of uh, serendipitous. I started going to professional conferences um, towards the latter half of my undergraduate time, um, and I went to the American Society of uh, Botany uh, professional meeting, and I met these two, uh, Drs. Doug and Pam Soltis. Um, they are kind of experts in genome duplications, aka polyploidy, and I was like, I love polyploidy, and they were like, we love polyploidy, um, and I moved out to Florida. Uh, to get my PhD with them. Um, there I learned a lot about not just science, but also about how to be a good scientist off the bench as well. Uh, mentorship and team science. Um, my PhD really revolved around kind of the interface of evolutionary biology, ecology, physiology, with a bioinformatics slant, uh, leveraging genomics, transcriptomics, uh, and bioinformatics to kind of tie both kind of macro processes together with what's happening at a molecular level. Um, throughout this process, I learned a lot about work-life balance. I'm a big proponent of work-life balance. Um, a lot of people kind of go all in on academics um, and kind of let a lot of other things falter. Um, and I was really fortunate enough to have advisors that instilled the opposite in me. Um, both very, very uh, successful mentors, uh, but also I think successful because they work hard and play hard. 
Uh, one of my advisors, Doug, Doug Soltis, we would go fishing once a month, talk a lot of science on the two hour drive to the Gulf. Um, and so it was both fun and productive. Um, I've kind of continued that. Um, I try to get out, uh, fishing, you know, as frequently as possible. Um, and just, again, try to earn those breaks by being productive when you're not having fun or have fun while you're being productive. So, um, ended up graduating from University of Florida with my PhD, um, and, uh, wanted to return to Sac State. Uh, came back here in 2017 as an assistant professor. Um, and I've been teaching here ever since. Um, you can reach me via email uh, at clayton.bisger at csus.edu. It's kind of all popped up here. Um, I have a lab web page uh, that's built off of GitHub. Um, I can talk to you about that if it's something you're interested in. Again, my Twitter. Um, and I also teach a number of other courses here you may have taken as an undergrad, Bio 1, Bio 100, Bio 113. Um, and kind of the only other thing I'll mention is that I tend to be very, very responsive via email. I'm not big on long waiting for the per to craft the perfect email. If you have a question, just shoot it to me. Don't worry too much about the wording. Um, I'm happy to kind of sift through, kind of half thought through ideas. Um, I'd rather you get the question off your chest than kind of mull it over for a week until it's not helpful anymore. Typically, I try to respond to emails within 12 hours. Um, if you don't hear back from me within at least one full business day, um, just email me again. For some reason, something happened and it got lost. Um, and I have uh, both a toddler and a newborn, so I often am uh, uh, kind of inundated, especially with no daycare due to COVID. So sometimes I answer a lot of emails with my phone. And so if they seem short or terse, it's just me trying to get you the info. It's, it's nothing um, me being frustrated with you. So I like to always throw that disclaimer out. I'd like to give you lots of information as quickly as I can. All right, thank you.